Yes, fuck me. Dominate me! Throwing his head back in pleasure, Bob yelled as he released another torrent of cum. <laughs> Hello everyone, how are you going? Yep, that's really cool. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing fab. Today's video is a fan fiction video. Oh good, another one. It's gonna be revolving around The Incredibles, Mr. Incredible and Syndrome. So it gets real raunchy there. Um, I didn't wanna make another fan fiction straight away cause I don't solely make fan fiction videos, but I wanted to make this one because The Incredibles 2 has come out and I just wanted to, you know, this is my way of celebrating because um, that movie, the first one, very dear to my heart, kind of. A lot of movies are, so is Nemo. I'll do a Nemo fanfiction next. Nemo and Marlin, DP Dory. Six-year-old me, loved watching it at the cinemas, loved watching it growing up. And uh, six-year-old you is gonna love listening to this story. Also, I forgot to mention this fanfiction is called Number One Fan by Golden Spite. So yeah, enjoy. Let's get into it, shall we? On Normandian Island, Mr. Incredible was trapped in his zero point energy holding cell. It was very cold in the cell and Mirage had left her station a while ago. It was just him in the dark, lonely room. Not only was the cell highly uncomfortable, but he had uncontrollable urges. Since he hadn't seen or heard his wife's voice since he got captured and the tight spandex suit didn't leave much to the imagination either, he heard the automatic door open. It didn't startle him anymore, since he was used to people coming in. Hello, Mr. Incredible. Syndrome greeted in a happy tone. What do you want from me that you haven't already taken from me? Mr. Incredible responds. Nothing, just checking in on you. Syndrome says with a slight tinge of evilness in his voice. He had his hands behind his back. What do you have? Bob says, eyeing him suspiciously. What do you have. Syndrome asks in a seductive tone, looking down at Bob's crotch. Oh god, it was happening again. He looked down to see his obvious erection stretching the black fabric. Syndrome pushed a button, lowering the beam, bringing Bob closer to him. I see why they call you Mr. Incredible. Damn, he said, looking at the large size. He was about to touch it, but then, don't you! Dare touch that! Bob yelled, crossing his legs the best he could. Syndrome chuckled, ha ha ha, finally revealing what he had behind his back. They looked like two little heart-shaped earbuds. Then he put his hands around Bob's neck, forcing him to stay still. He stuck one of them on his forehead and put the other one in his ear. Suddenly Bob stopped struggling and his eyes glazed over in pink. His erection grew a bit, throbbing. <laughs> Fuck me! he said. Syndrome grew an evil smile. It worked, he said, licking his own teeth. Always wanted to do this, Syndrome said, rubbing Bob's erection. He moved his spandex to the side, letting the nine inch circumcised erection come out. Syndrome moaned to himself as he stroked his erection, allowing a bead of pre-cum to form on the tip. Syndrome bit his lip and licked it, tasting it. Bob groaned and the device is also functioning as a form of ecstasy, making the sensations more sensitive, adding to the pleasure. Oh, fuck yeah! Syndrome said, then rolled his tongue around the tip of his cock before sliding the rest into his mouth. Syndrome, oh yeah! Bob moaned, thrusting into his mouth. Syndrome went back and forth, moving more spandex to the side, allowing a pair of big hefty balls to come out. They were smooth and hairless. You shave? Syndrome says, taking the cock out of his mouth. Bob obediently nodded. Syndrome moved down to his balls, giving them some attention. He sucked on them, taking one into his mouth. Bob moaned in response. He also stroked his cock as he did this. Then he went back for his cock, deep throating it. S -s Syndrome, it feels so good! Bob said. Syndrome fondled his balls again, rubbing them. 
He took his cock out of his mouth again. You gonna come for me? Syndrome asked, stroking his cock, which was now lubed up by his spit. Oh yeah, fuck! Bob moaned, throwing his head back in pleasure. He moaned his name one last time as he came all over his hand, making quite a mess. Damn, you were paired up. I should have kept you up here longer, Syndrome said, tasting his cum. He walked over to Mirage's computer and turned off the zero point energy, causing Bob to fall conveniently on all fours. Syndrome walked over to him, showing off his erection. Look what you did, he said, pushing his head into it. Suck it, he said, taking out the 9.5 inch erection. Bob put it in his mouth, swirling his tongue on the tip. He did this for quite some time before Syndrome put both of his hands on his head and thrust it into his mouth, causing him to gag. Oh yeah, this was such a good idea, having you on my knees, sucking my cock, Fuck yeah! Syndrome moaned. He face fucked him longer before he pulled his cock out of his mouth. All over your pretty face, Syndrome said, jerking his cock. Oh fuck! He said as he came over his face, with Bob licking as much as he could before swallowing it. After that, Syndrome pushed him up on his knees and began to take off his suit. He unveiled his large chest, sucking on his nipples as well. Then the fiery redhead walked around him, removing his and Bob's pants. He massaged and groped his butt cheeks saying, Well, you have an incredible ass. Get it? Because it's the Incredibles. Sorry. Please. Fuck me, Bob said, laying down with his ass in the air. Gladly, Syndrome said, using his spit as lube. He lightly pressed at Bob's entrance, sucking his neck as he did. As he pushed into him, he put his hands on his thick thighs. Yes, fuck me, dominate me, Bob moaned, looking back at Syndrome. He licked his cheek as he thrust it into him harder. Oh yeah, you like that? Oh yeah, I'm gonna come again. Bob moaned loudly. He didn't last long under Syndrome's hands. Syndrome. Oh! Bob yelled as he released another torrent of cum. Good! Syndrome moaned, thrusting into him harder and faster. He didn't last long either, coming after Bob. Fuck man, I should have done that 15 years ago! Syndrome said, jerking the rest of the cum out of his body, with Bob rubbing it all over himself. Him doing this must have given him another erection, as Syndrome saw his big cock rising again. Mmm, Syndrome thought, licking his lips. He took off the rest of his suit. Then he got down on his knees and sucked the cum off of his dick and lubed it up with his spit. He grew an evil smile as he sat down on the hero's dick. Syndrome. Oh, yes! Bob moaned, grabbing his thighs. He bounced up and down on his dick. His own cock slapped against Bob's chest, splattering the cum on his chest everywhere. They were all so sweating, so fluids were flying and the room was filled with moans and groans and slick noises. Fuck me with that incredible cock of yours, Syndrome moaned. Bob then reached up and stroked Syndrome's dick. Bob thrust it up onto him, showing a small amount of dominance. Syndrome in response grinded from side to side. They both felt their orgasms coming, staring at each other with lust in their eyes. Fuck me, ah! Oh! Syndrome yelled one final time as he released another blast of cum with Bob following suit. Syndrome moved off of his dick, panting and laying on his chest, realizing what they just did together. They stared at each other before Syndrome moved closer to him and kissed him. Their tongues met each other, exploring each other's mouths. As they separated, Syndrome got up and put his suit back on. Mr. Incredible also put his suit back on. But before he could put his underwear back on, Syndrome stopped him. Give me those, baby, he said, gently taking them from him. Sorry, but I gotta put you back into it, Syndrome said, pointing at the zero point energy cage. Mr. Incredible nodded as he put the containment orbs back onto his hands and feet. Then Syndrome reactivated the cell and brought him back up. He walked up to him and made out with him one last time. Bye, I'll See you again soon, Syndrome said before taking the mind control machines off of him. As if coming from a daze, he looked around and noticed the wet spot on his crotch. What did you just do to me? Oh, nothing, Syndrome said, rubbing Bob's cum in between two fingers. He sucked it off his fingers as he walked away, giving an evil laugh. <laughs> As he left the room, Bob sunk his head down. Whatever he just did with Syndrome, he knows he must have been under his control, but eventually came to realise it may not have been all Syndrome's device. The 
end. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I couldn't really give less of a shit to be honest. But if you haven't seen The Incredibles 2 yet, go watch it. I'm not actually sponsored by them. I should be. I should totally be sponsored by them. I've actually watched it now and it was pretty dang good. But um, the villain wasn't as good as in the first one, but it, the rest of the movie was pretty good. But if you do uh, watch The Incredibles or the second one in the cinemas, think about this video. You probably will never see The Incredibles the same way ever again. If you enjoyed this video and you just generally enjoy my content, make sure you subscribe and click that bell. I know I said I wouldn't tell people to subscribe in my previous video, but I want to remind people to click the bell. But in order to do that, you need to subscribe so click subscribe to unlock the bell and click the bell to unlock me <sighs> please share this video around if you like the Incredibles and like being raunchy and just putting the two together they should never be together but I sinned today so sorry any video ideas comment down below I'll be happy to take a look at that uh, yeah, that's about it. So have fun with your life. Go watch The Incredibles. Think about me when you watch it. More skit type videos coming soon and more fan fiction, but not straight away because I've already made two in a row. So yeah, anyways, bye. Mwah.